Hello and welcome to this video on mixing basses. And what I mean by that is when the bass, do you remember when you have this power expression, this bass is the lower number and the power, also known as an index, the plural indices, is the kind of smaller number at the top. So what if we had different bases? This has a base of two and this has a base of four. Can we write four to the seven as two to the power of something? And the way we do it, if we just think, well, how could we write four as a power of two, as two to the power of something. Well, we know that four is two squared, so we could write the four as, in brackets, two squared to the power of seven. So I've just replaced four with two squared. And that means we can use our laws of indices, where when we have a power expression to another power, we multiply the powers together, so it's two to the power of 14. So let's use that to solve these various questions here. You've got the first one, if 2 to the k is 4 to the 11, find k. So we've got 2 to the k is equal to 4 to the 11. Now, 4, we know, is a power of 2. So we could replace the 4 with, in brackets, 2 squared to the power of 11. And that means we can simplify that. We times the powers together to 2 to the 22. Now, because the bases are the same, that means we can just equate the powers. So k must be 22, so that we have 2 to the 22 equals 2 to the 22. So k is 22. What about the second one? We've got 3 to the m is equal to 27 to the power of 4. So we know that 27 is 3 cubed. So we could replace the 27 with 3 cubed in the brackets. That means we can simplify the right-hand side to 3 to the power of 12. We times the powers. And that means that m is equal to 12 because we equate the powers now that the bases are the same. We can also use this to solve equations. So if we had 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 4 to the power of x minus 1, well, we want to have the same base so that we can equate the powers. So, 2 to the x plus 1, we'll just keep the 2 as it is, but the 4 we can replace with 2 squared in brackets to the x minus 1. Let's simplify the right-hand side. Well, we times these together, so 2 times x minus 1 is 2x minus 2. So it's 2 to the power of 2x minus 2. Don't forget to times that minus 1 by 2 as well. There's effectively a bracket around that. And now because the bases are the same, it means we're allowed to equate the powers. So we have x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 2. That's just a bog standard linear equation. So we solve that by collecting the x's on the side where we have more x's. So there's more x's on the right, so we subtract x from both sides. So that then just becomes x minus 2, and that x disappears. Then we add 2 to both sides, so x was equal to 3. And the very last one, this one's harder. We've got 9 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 27 to the power of 3x minus 2. Now, we can't write 27 as a power of 9. We can't write 27 as 9 to the power of something. But 9 and 27 are both powers of 3. So we could replace the 9 with 3 squared, because 9 is 3 squared. And we could replace the 27 with 3 cubed. So we have the same number here now, the same base. We can use laws of indices to simplify. So 2 times 2x plus 1 is 4x plus 2. And 3 times 3x minus 2 is 3 to the power of 9x minus 6. Now the base is the same, equate the powers. 4x plus 2 is 9x minus 6. Collect the x's on one side, so I'm going to collect on the right side because we've got more x's there. So we subtract the 4x, we now have 5x there. And at the same time, I'm going to add 6 to get rid of that minus 6. That 2 plus 6 is 8. Divide both sides by 5 because x is being multiplied by 5. And we have x is equal to 8 over 5. And that is the solution.